is that the <coughs> why, won't, why won't it come out? I also oh oh my gosh. Hey guys, it's Yan. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with another lipstick review. As you all know, I love reviewing lipsticks. I think every girl has a thing for lipsticks or lip products. We only have one pair of lips, but we have millions of lipsticks of different shades. So yeah, let's get started. I'm actually in a hurry. I have to leave my home in like 30 minutes. So hopefully I can finish filming this video on time and then I need to get to work. So for today's review, I'm going to talk about some L'Oreal lip Lipsticks. This collection is called Free the Nudes. It's basically a collection of nude lipsticks. I have six shades right here, all that I can find um, in the drugstore. I'm not sure if there are any other shades, but this is all that's displayed on the rack. I'm really excited. So let's see the packaging. So this is what the lipstick looks like. Packaging is really matte. It feels pretty nice. I don't really know if I like this kind of color combination. Obviously, the collection is about nude lipsticks and that's why the packaging is in the color nude. I like these two color on the packaging. I just don't know how I feel about them when they pair it like this. They kind of look like a fancier sausage. Anyway, I'm going to do lip swatches for you guys and I'm also going to swatch all the shades on my arm so that you can see and then we'll go right ahead into the reviews. Okay, so that's all of the lip swatches and arm swatches of the different shade. From the arm swatch, you can see that this collection, it's not exactly the nude that we might relate to. Because when we talk about shades that are in nude, they're more skin-like. This collection is not what we normally would call nude. But regardless of the name of the collection, I still really like the shade selections. You got a light coral shade, a mauve shade, a pinkier shade, a darker shade that that's more brown, a darker shade that's more cranberry. Ooh, there's something that's stuck to my window. And another that's more like a brick red kind of vibe. But you can also tell that like they're not 
pure coral. This is not a pure mauve. They all are kind of washed down a bit. The shade 308 in No Lies. I love this shade because it's a regular mauve, but it also has this slight purple undertone to it, but then it's really wearable on the lips. It's one of my favorite shades. I'm currently wearing 314. It's called No Ban. It's this color, the lightest shade in the range. It has a really light peachy undertone to it, and I really like it. It's really wearable, and I can tell that the shade would suit a lot of skin tones really, really well. I like that there are different tones to it. I won't really say some of these are nude colors, but I do really like them. So that's a check on the shade range. As for the formulation, to be honest, I can say this right off the bat. I am really, really impressed by a lot of the lipsticks that L'Oreal has come out recently. Recently, I think it's these past few years. Whenever they come out um, lipsticks in this kind of packaging, I think they have one in a le red leathery kind of packaging. Those are really, really nice. I only have a few of them. That's why I didn't film a dedicated video. But these are just as amazing. These are so good. For this particular range, their formulation is really creamy. So you can see from the swatches, this collection has more of a matte finish and it's actually pretty moisturizing on the lips. And what I'm most impressed about L'Oreal lipsticks, especially for this collection as well, is that the lipsticks adheres to your lips really, really well and it doesn't skip on your lips. I have the lightest shade on. This is, as I said, in 314 in the shade No Ban. As you can see, all the pigments are just really, really evenly distributed on the lips. Because I do find that some lipsticks, they look really nice, the formulation is okay, and the shades are beautiful. But then when it comes to the application on the lips, some of them skips. It almost feels like some of the pigments don't really want to stay on your lips, so that they're kind of like floating above your, your lips. Like, you know, they're like on a different level. So yeah, I don't like that. But this, it doesn't do it. I think the formula is A+. Plus, these are only regular lipsticks. It won't stay on your lips forever. They will come off. They do transfer. But if you are into regular lipsticks, try it out yourself. Grab the shades that you like and I think a lot of you guys will really, really like it. Oh, and yeah, when I talk about the formulation, how it adheres to your lips really well, it works for the lighter shades. It also works for the darker shades, these two right here. If you pay attention to my application in the lip swatch, it only really takes two or three swipes to get everything really even on my lips. You just really need to pay attention how you outline your lips. It's really easy for you to mess up the edges of your lips. So one tip that I have for you guys is just go into a lip liner, line your lips first before you go into a bold shade and then apply these these are amazing on the lips as you can see from the lip swatch it's so easy to apply even for the darker shades and i don't have lip liner on so yeah so i bought all of these from sasa it's a drugstore in hong kong i think each lipstick cost at around 115 hong kong dollars so that's how much is that? So that's like 10, 11, 12 US dollars. It's not the cheapest lipsticks you can find in the drugstore, but the price is not bad at all. If you have membership in any of those drugstores, you can even get a discount on it. These feels almost luxury on the lips. These are so easy to apply. They don't dry out your lips. Really beautiful shades. And that's really all that I can ask for in the lipstick. And these are drugstore. Just go get them because I have a feeling that they will be sold out soon. I actually don't know when did this collection launch in Hong Kong. I don't know if it's country specific either. So I don't know if you can get it in your country. But if you are able to find these, go get them. If you like these shades, go get them. So that's all my thoughts on these lipsticks and these are all the swatches. I just really want to film a really quick video for you guys just because I found these amazing lipsticks at the drugstore and I think everybody should know about this. For some reason, I don't know why a lot of Hong Kong beauty or makeup YouTubers, they don't really, I don't really know a lot of them, but from those who I watch, they don't really review drugstore stuff. Well, at least not a dedicated video like this. Drugstore is always a really great option. I have quite a bunch of L'Oreal liquid lipsticks. I've been hoarding them for a while. I've been using them like in my personal time. I'm just wondering if any of you would want to see a review on that because they do have quite a few shades and I think they recently came out with more shades in the range for their liquid lipsticks. So let me know um, so I can do a lip swatch and a review for you guys. And yeah, that's it for this video. It's a really nice and short one, but I hope you like it. I hope you find this helpful. If you have tried out any of these lipsticks, 
lipsticks or any lipsticks that you find really really good that you want to share with all of us please do in the comments below let me know what you think about these lipsticks and if you've enjoyed watching me today please give me a thumbs up under this video and go ahead and subscribe to my channel because i don't upload regularly so make sure you get subscribed to my channel and turn on the bell so you get notified every time when i upload a new video thank you guys so much for today i'll see you guys next time bye